banners in some ways design themselves because the title's got to be at the top and the reason is that if they're in a street demonstration there will be people in front of them so it's no good having the title low down <laughs> you know the, the title has got to be visible. Most peculiarly in a digital age when everything is digital and can be zoomed around the world I can put the six o'clock news on on a Saturday and there'd be banners all over the six o'clock news and the, the, and yet the handmade ha crafted things you know which is slightly a counterpoise to um, the digital world. They have a link with the workers and the, the you know the people sort of supplying the wealth to the country they've got that direct link. As the sort of agricultural workers flooded into cities in the 1820s, 1840s to run the woolen mills, the cotton mills, coal mining, heavy metal industries, the trade unions were forming. Famously, they were illegal before the 1830s, but then they became legal. The silk woven banners with painted centrepieces of the 19th century were sort of iconic in this complete change. I mean, the reason that we have a standard of living today is because of the industrial revolution which was taking place and th these banners were sort of integral to it. When I make banners now I'm sort of constantly aware of the, the history of them. I became sort of politicised before I began to make banners and I was working for Lambeth Council as an architect for 30 years in a office of 800 people building a thousand council houses a year. I mean that was what Thatcher put a stop to which just seemed crazy then, it's even crazier now. Unison was a very powerful union and I became the convener of those 800 borough development staff and then later on the branch secretary for staff at Lambeth and because I could draw and make things the banners that were needed, I was, I was making those and some of them overnight. When I left Lambeth in 1997, I thought, well, I'll have to go get another job. But I, I didn't actually have to because the phone kept ringing and I was given trade union banners to make. You know, I even made national banners, which is sort of quite an honour. Then I attracted the attention of you know, the art world through Jeremy Della. So some of the banners I was making were, you know, firmly in the art sector, which was, you know, some of it was quite prestigious as, as these three banners for the South Bank are. The art world has a huge sort of public profile and people see the Haywood Gallery, they see what's on in the South Bank, they see the banners on the flank of the Festival Hall. You know, as a, a coffee bar just down by that decarbonisation banner and I've sat in that coffee bar and you get couples come along and then they discuss it so it does have an effect, people are talking about it. Everyone has got to be involved in this. Whatever our technology, we can't go anywhere else. That's absolutely, we're stuck. We, we're, there is no other world, this is it. You know, and I think that, that is a, such a powerful message.